At difference. Candy's, I feel like I'm one of the top entertainers. Yes. I feel like I could put on a show, whether it's fast music or slow music, I could turn you on. I don't got to sit down and twerk all day. Um, I could sell the actual fantasy. Like like Players Club, when you think of Players Club, she was a real entertainer when Diamond got on stage. What to do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broad cash i'm your host day with an i not a y do not x y today i have a great one for y'all because we are joined by adult entertainer dancer overall entrepreneur a woman of many hats and i'm gonna let her break that down but ladies and gentlemen we are joined by cali paradise what's up how are you doing <laughs> i'm good how are you i'm doing great good uh cali paradise so i'm assuming you're from california i am the bay area Bay Area. Born in Richmond, California. Okay, yay area in the building. Uh, in Richmond, that's from Coach Carter, right? Yeah. yeah. It's right next to Oakland, though. Okay. To be, like, more exact. How how long uh, did you uh, stay out there before you came to Charlotte? <laughs> I just came to Charlotte really? in August. <laughs> so what brought you to Charlotte from the Bay Area, California? <laughs> My sister. Okay. That's the best way to sum it up. Mm. I've been back and forth for a minute. I saw when you pulled up, you got the California place. Did you drive out here? I did. It's three days. God. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna drive back. Me and the kids. We about to do a road trip. Ooh, god damn! Three days. Did yeah. you stop like in hotels or whatnot? Did no. you thug it out in the car? No. You just take a nap in the car. Yeah, at rest at rest stops. <laughs> um, truck stops is more better. Yeah. Like you want to be at somewhere public. Yeah. I just be ready to get the fuck home. Yeah. Or get to wherever I'm going. How do you feel like sleeping at like truck stop, truck stops and rest stops? Like, do you ever feel like, you know, it'd be some, you know, some weirdos out there? Well, like, I tell myself you gotta take like a four hour nap. Okay. Are you strapped when you travel? No, I'm a felon. Okay. Well, is that a trick question? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you was a felon. Listen, I I have nothing to do. If they ever see it, they know. I have nothing to do with any. T do you want to talk about that? Can you talk about that? Like, what felonies do you have? Did you try to burn a nigga house down? Mm -mm. You would. I would have thought it would have been something for violence before that. They put theft, but it wasn't theft. I didn't steal. They gave me a car. They gave you a car. Who? <laughs> With a profile. I got a little profile, man. So someone gave you a car. Yeah, just don't get cars or profiles, basically. Okay. Got you. Got you. That's uh, the learning lesson. Yeah. Okay. So we'll leave that where it is. <laughs> Three-day trip from uh, Bay Area to California. I mean, Bay Area to Charlotte. So um, your sister brought you out here. So let's talk about, first off, what you're involved with. Like I said, you're a woman of many hats, so I'll let you go ahead and lay everything out. Mainly dance. Um, I'm an entertainer. I love Dancing. You love so, dancing. I do. And I we, love being a fantasy. You said you love being a fantasy. Mm -hmm. okay. Turn the nigga on and leave him high and dry. Mm, you like that? I do. So why leave him high and dry? Not the chase. Why? Why not keep him up there? I like the chase. That the man chases you? Yeah. Has a man ever caught you? Caught me? Yeah. yeah I was married for seven years. Seven years. Yep. And he was twenty years older than me. That, that's <laughs> that's not out of the norm. That's pretty normal, I guess. Yeah. It I, is. So why did y'all split? <laughs> you ain't got to talk about nothing you don't want to talk about. I'm not. Here. I'm trying to find the best words. So I'm nice. Um, I think we wanted different things. I, I envision a different type of husband. I like to be spoiled. I like a provider. He wanted to be taken care of. I wanted to be taken care of. That's kind of hard. Oh, he wanted, he wanted to be taken care of? Yeah, a lot of California men like to be taken care of. So Did he have a lot? Did he have a lot of money? Like? Mm, that's a better provider uh, was one of the things I want more. Okay. So no. So when y'all money was lack. Got you. So when y'all. So how did he get you then? Because usually, per, usually he what, kept chasing. Oh, he kept chasing. I love a persistent ass nigga. Like. So a persistent chase will finally catch up to Cali Paradise. Yeah, and he spoiled me. I feel tricked. <laughs> okay, so I, can't, I can't tell this to the world, but I feel so tricked. I'm trying to put two and two together. He spoiled you, but and yet... he used to like give me money. It's, I just feel so tricked. I thought it was gonna be something different. You know, it was nice for like the first three years. Uh huh. He gave you, he gave you the he gave you the smoke and mirrors in the Man, beginning. Man, moved me into the house, all the oh. shit. I didn't have to really work. My money went to like little bills. I just had to cook and clean, do the kids. And then when did the switch happen? Shit. 
And how did the after switch the happen? After the marriage, after he got married. Oh, so after it was it was signed and sealed, then that's when I feel like it. I don't know. It was like three years after, maybe. Okay. So so you went from being spoiled, you had to take care of small bills to so you maybe I'll be nice. So we relocated. We had okay. tried to come to Charlotte. So maybe okay. relocating and then switching a job was mm-hmm. hard. I'll be understanding. Okay. Was hard for him. So he couldn't do the things he used to do. Mm-hmm. But then he didn't want to be like a great team player. So mm-hmm. if I'm gonna be a stripper, I might need to do the kids and do the cooking and cleaning now. Mm-hmm. If I could bring if I could figure it out. So mm-hmm. I just don't think we were equal team players. Okay. Stuff does change. Listen, life happens when move and job yeah, changes. Yeah, he had a thing about strippers and shit. So okay. that was a big thing anyway. So. so were you stripping when he met you? Yeah, but then I stopped dancing for the, the marriage. Okay. But then I always heard about it. So then one day I was like, fuck this shit. I'm going to get my tummy tuck. I'm going to get my titties done. And I'm going to go back to stripping. Mommy makeover. Yeah, but I ain't got mommy makeover money at one time, so I had to do one like yeah, each build year. build it up like a transformer. <laughs> payments and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's cool. Everybody don't be knowing. You can do payments. So so you didn't so you strip, y'all got married, so you stopped stripping. What about it was brought up? Like that you did it before? Shit. This it's always an argument. Got you. Well, let's talk about that. Um, first and foremost, I have a question for you. A couple episodes ago I had a bottle waitress on the show. Shout out to Big Bree, Big Breezy. And um, she tried to tell me it was the difference between two terms. So I actually want to hear from the horse's mouth. I'm actually glad that you're here and I remember this. What's the difference between a stripper and a dancer? Do you mean an entertainer? I was, I was, I I like to call myself an entertainer. You're an entertainer. Yes, because I I do more than just dance and strip. Well, let's talk about just inside the strip club. Is there a difference between the two? Yes, I'm an entertainer in the strip club. Okay, well, break down the difference. At Candies, I feel like I'm one of the top entertainers. Yes. I feel like I could put on a show, whether it's fast music or slow music, I could turn you on. I don't got to sit down and twerk all day. Um, I could sell the actual fantasy. Like, like Players Club, when you think of Players Club, she was a real entertainer when Diamond got on stage. Mm hmm. Trixie was a stripper. Mm, okay. <laughs> so did Tri- was wh- what made Trixie more of a stripper as opposed Trixie to... Trixie didn't the- even have no sex appeal when she came out. She used to just come out yelling on stage and shit. Yeah, she was a little just thugged little out. And shit, she was it? thugged out. She was. She was, a, she was more of a stripper. She was the twerkers, you know? The ones that we got now, they just like the twerking shit all day mm-hmm. and be hyper. I fucking loved her in Players Club. Dude, oh, so you love the twerkers? Um, I loved her in Players Club. I just loved I just loved her aura, her look with the blonde hair. Like as a young and I just loved Trixie. I don't know. I don't know. Are you talking about Trixie? Trixie had the braids. Oh, wait. You thinking of Ebony? No. Uh wait, Trix not Trixie. Who's the joint with the blonde hair? Ebony, the cousin? No, the yeah, that was the cousin. And then Trixie oh, was Oh, you're the- talking about the real one. Um, the one who the, the head honcho. I don't know her fucking name right now. Ronnie? Ronnie. Ronnie. I'm tripping. <laughs> Trixie was the old head joint. Yes, with no, the braids. No, no, no. Oh, my God. That's no. the twerker. Oh, okay. Okay. Them the twerk. They remind me of the twerkers. They don't really like to talk and, you know, they mm-hmm. just want to come out and expect it and just twerk and bend over. Mm. So what was Ronnie? Ronnie was a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie was right. pimping. Pretty much right. So selling the fantasy inside the club, what does that... uh? Like, what does that typically consist of usually? Like, what type of dream does a guy want to be sold inside the strip club? Like, they have opportunity. With you? Yeah. What mm. else? <laughs> have Basically. You ever, have you ever given somebody opportunity in the club? Yeah. I yeah. let people take me out. Yeah. Some people, I'm very picky. Like, if he cheap and ugly, of course, no. But What if he has money and ugly? I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that always changes. <laughs> hey, that always changes, shit, don't it? And you know, <laughs> yeah, people could be, you know, people. Everyone has a little cuteness to them. Hey, Ho said it best. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as an ugly billionaire. I'm cute. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm, that makes sense. I've dated an okay broke nigga, so an ugly rich nigga wouldn't hurt. What's the most in one night a guy has spent on you in the club? It was probably outside the club. Mm. Yeah, I think I've been, okay, so you probably don't know. I've been back on the market now for like almost four years. On the market as in your single? Yeah, okay. and divorced. Okay. Um, okay, they're going to say something about that. So it ain't legally divorced yet. But okay, and but it's been four years? Yeah, we don't touch each other or nothing. Like, <laughs> what's, what's the hold up? I just ain't did the paperwork. Okay, got you, but continue. <laughs> And I'm in Charlotte. Shit is going to cost me. Got you. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to have to do the divorce for California because California 
you know, they let you divorce. Um, like, they don't make you wait a year like Charlotte. Mm. Charlotte makes you wait a fucking year before you want to divorce somebody for some dumb ass shit. Do y'all both have to be NC residents? It doesn't even matter. We're not. Okay. Right. I'll just play. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I damn, sure don't, know, I damn <laughs> sure don't know how that works. I don't know. But I don't you, know either. Got you. But as you were saying. I'm going to put it in California now. Yes. But as you're saying, you're back on the market. I don't remember what else I was saying. I don't either. Um, okay, so you said the most a dude spent on you was outside the strip club. So he, oh, yeah, he outside. met you. He met you in the club. I'm assuming. No, oh. I just started back really dancing in California. It's harder to dance in real strip clubs. They what? don't have real strip clubs near the Bay Area for black girls like me. Then what do they have? After hours. Mm. <laughs> that that niggas and through you know together. Mm-hmm. So outside, the dude would talk about how much. Was this a trick or was this a, a, a client from the strip club? I don't consider anyone a trick. What is a trick? God bless you. But I'll tell you what a trick is. <laughs> I a, hate that word. <laughs> um, from my presumption, a trick is a guy who spends money for the company of a young lady that he would not have gotten without the money. So he's blessed and he's able to bless himself? Again, if I, if I don't have money, but if I got money and I want steak, I'm going to eat the steak. Again, it's not about having the money. Like I said, it's about her not giving him the time of the day if he would have not had the money. I don't know. I'm not, I'm That's not. how I perceive a, a trick. But I just feel like my dad taught me not to talk to niggas who ain't got shit. Mm. That ain't really mean that they're not a trick. That just means he didn't try hard enough. Okay, so then if he gets something and then you talk to him. Yeah, he has to have something of value. Okay, so it's, it sounds like we're essentially saying the same thing, but you're just not wanting to put that trick label on it. Toma- <laughs> I just don't believe the trick. T- tomato, tomato. Well, that's, that's listen. I don't feel like we're saying the same thing at all. We're going to agree to disagree. You're saying that <laughs> you wouldn't talk to a dude without the money because he's not putting himself in a position to talk to you, right? Yes. And I'm saying a trick is someone who wouldn't have gotten that girl because he didn't have the money. You would have not. So talk- you would go talk to a girl that's broken homeless? A girl that's broke and homeless? I don't know. Just talk to? Probably not. She has to be well put together too, right? But but, but even if me and her start talking, she's not buying me shit. It's usually the guy that has to provide. I spoil my niggas that spoil me, so I don't know. God bless. Listen, I'm not mad at it. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, that is true though, because one of my little niggas out here before, they was like, damn, you sent money? They didn't even know. Yeah. God bless. Yeah, he sent me money. I sent you money. God bless your heart. If you take care of me, I'll take care of you. Yeah, that's what's up. Do you have a roster? No, I'm starting over now. From scratch? Yeah. Yeah. The pig's horrible out here. We're in Charlotte? Yes. Can't stand these niggas. So you travel too, right? You do traveling? Not no more. Services? Because I have kids. Okay. So now I'm about to travel this summer. Okay. So I want to go to Florida. I'm about to go home. I thought I saw you promoting some type of traveling service or service outside of Charlotte. Traveling entertaining. Yeah, that's what I'm So, at. like, I just promoted for Cali mm-hmm. so they could book me for Sacramento or the Bay Area. Okay. Um, I want to go to Vegas because I dance in Vegas, too, at Sophia's in Crazy Horse 3. So. How, I don't, I damn sure I've been to Crazy Horse 3. I might have been to Sophia's. I've, Sophia's is the most black urban club you might get in Vegas. In Vegas, really. Let me yes. put that down on the notes. Sophia's. Now, there's a lot of little Mexicans, but, you know, the black girls are in there. I want, to, wait, is that, like, North Vegas? I wouldn't know. I'm not from there. <laughs> Neither am I, but I, you know. I GPS everywhere I go when I'm there. Oh, man. Just like here. It's good to have a sense of direction, Callie. You know what I mean? Just in case. Who's to say all this shit just don't That's vanish That's true, one because day. one day I was so lost when my phone broke. Yo. The only thing I know how to do is get home. Uh, I'll tell you something my grandfather told me. I'm going to get into some old head <laughs> shit right now. Odd numbers go north and south. Even numbers go east and west as far as routes. Like 95 goes north. I spoke a little on my You said you what? <laughs> Oh, you spilled a little drink? You're good. <laughs> You're good. They're gonna laugh. Yeah, that's that that's that red bull chaser from the no, 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 no. El Toro. <laughs> El Toro. Um, so what what is what what is Charlotte? What are the pics is it like? Still alcohol on my face? Nah, you're good. Let me see your neck. You're good. Hey. <laughs> on point. <laughs> Um, so when did you start over with your roster? How? Because you've been single for four, technically single for four oh, years. I start over probably like every two months. Every two months. Damn near. These niggas don't last long. Mm, why don't they? Consistency, communication. People are boring as fuck nowadays. Well, what makes a man not boring? I've heard that before. They don't know how to talk. Like they don't know how to carry a conversation. 
you know, they don't know shit about themselves. They ask the same four questions every day. Well, are you talking to and dealing with the same type of dudes? No, everyone's different. <laughs> okay. Really, everyone's different. You got the street nigga, the truck driver, the <laughs> nine to five, the weed man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit um so i need a scammer i like them yeah scammers I'm, i imagine are spoilers right because it's like it's not even there so what the yeah, fuck else I, they got to do it, with it wait wait what it is yours when you hit hmm? it is theirs when it hit i'm you know, yeah the money, but, energy, but they, they, they don't have to work for it is what i'm saying so uh, that's that's not the truth that's work scamming is work my, my, my mama and uncle been hustlers they all like it's work Hustlers or scammers? It's a difference. They both same thing. I don't know. Oh, it's definitely a difference between hustling and scamming. <laughs> you can hustle candy and lemonade on the corner, but if you scamming, you can scamming. you do both? A person could be both. Tech. I mean, what? You, nah. <laughs> yeah, you can do both. Of course. I guess I imagine. My some, mama both. Yeah. She the back. She's a. a, a, a um, no, I was just playing. She ain't no scammer. She hustler. She yeah, gonna I say know. What the fuck. I know. She's not a scammer. For everyone tuning in she's and listening. She's gonna be like, "The fuck you talking about?" Girl? Yeah. 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 <laughs> So is that where you developed your hustler spirit from? You yes, got it from your my mama? mother has 10 kids, and she hustled her ass off. We ain't never been homeless. We've had big-ass houses, um, a nice life. Ain't none of us on drugs. Ain't none of us drop out. Everybody looks great. My brother's the only fan content creator. He's one of the top rates. My other brother, he does videos. He direct them. Mm. He does videos. What type of videos? Porno? Oh, no. No, only me and one other brother is in like the sex life. Okay. <laughs> the other one, he's just in film, like film industry. He tried to, do, I, he got a movie on Amazon. I don't know the name. Mm -hmm. He gonna kill me. I don't know the name of it, but it's a movie on Amazon. All right. Well, your brother that does the Amazon, uh, I said the Amazon, your brother that does the OnlyFans. <laughs> Tipsy. El Toro. Your brother that does the OnlyFans. Uh, let's talk about that. You have OnlyFans as well, right? I do. Um, so first of all, let me ask you, what's more lucrative between the stripping and the OnlyFans? So I feel like if you invest into marketing and then great photography for your OnlyFans, it'll work. That's how his blew up hella quick is marketing. Um, that's what he tells me. But he's Can you my break brother. That down? So he's not gonna pay for it. He's not gonna manage my shit. Mm -hmm. But basically marketing, you know, invested in marketing, Instagram, you see all these other OnlyFans top creators as girls mm -hmm. pay their ass to send to to um to post on the story, post on the page. Mm -hmm. Basically shit like that. Now, some people may start at 250, some people charge all the way to $1,000 just to post on, on the fucking story for 24 hours. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying on their social media stuff. But it, but the ratings that you'll get mm -hmm. and the followers that you'll get will help you get the subscribers. It's a you got to have a bigger like picture type mindset, I feel like. Yeah, so the OnlyFans is more lucrative is what you're saying. If you market I feel it like right. it is. My if brother don't makes right. great fucking money. They yeah. make more than me at the strip club. So what does so he what did you said he markets only he pay, yeah but he says he spends like okay I know the first three months he was making like twenty a month twenty, 20 racks bands? yeah okay. a month but he mm -hmm. was saying he was taking a good five to eight of it back into marketing yeah that makes you sense. you get what I'm saying yeah, so yeah. it's like you can make money it's just you know you gotta invest in it and then he had a partner already so he already got his wife he re he just did her they just they just partnered up together so it's not that you know it's not mm -hmm. hard. It's hard to find a good content creator to to um, link up with. Is, do, is your OnlyFans solo or do you have partners? It's solo. Okay, so I just did the first little thing. With someone else? Yeah. How'd it go? I mean, it went great. You can't see him. Yeah. Well, now nah, I'm... <laughs> you only see me. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> yeah. I've never done that. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Okay. That's new for me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, subscribe and see. So how did it do as far as uh, numbers-wise? Everyone likes it. Yeah? Because it's the most I've ever done. Okay. I don't do that much on there. So right. it's like the most I've ever done. And it's with a partner. Mm. It's head. So I gave head on there. So okay, it's like you gave him head on there. Mm. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so with your solo content, the game is to be sold, not to be told. So they yeah. have to subscribe to see. But with your solo content, are you doing sexual acts or is it just like dancing and shit? I mean, dancing, shower shows. I love showers. So I'm like a big shower fetish person. Okay. I like to dance in the shower and water. I don't know why. I just think it's sexy. But it probably feels good as well having the Yeah, and I'm a cancer, so I just love water. Jesus, Lord have mercy. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Cancers, y'all are great. Y'all are amazing. What the fuck are you about to say about cancers? Nothing. Y'all are amazing. You want what's your sign of Virgo? 
Nah. Oh. I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, you're okay. Yeah, we be chilling. Yeah. I've just dealt with some... Uh, so... Um, crazy? I think so. I'm very crazy. Everyone always... Thinks. Well, at least you admit it. They they didn't she, admit it. She she tried to swear she's so holistic and all types of shit. We're, but but usually people do shit to make us crazy. We're not crazy. We're no. cool as fuck. Cancers are hella cool. You have to like really fuck with us to get us out of our character. But you're just naturally crazy. No one did that to you. No, I'm only crazy depending on the person. Okay. In the situation. Got you. Got you. I see what you're saying. I've learned to control it. Got you. <laughs> all right. Cool. So um, we'll we'll touch back on OnlyFans. You brought up earlier the Players Club. We were just talking about, you know, Trixie and Ronnie. I actually have a segment that I want to do, and I'm very excited about this. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I was going to ask, did you ever see Players Club? But cause Obviously. Th- yeah, this would have fucked everything up. For those who don't know, Players Club is one of, if not the greatest black stripper inter- adult entertainment movie probably ever. I'd if you say. ain't seen Players Club, you ain't lived. Yeah, that's like not seeing Friday and Belly. It's actually produced by... Our uncut videos on... Yeah, yeah, it's actually produced by <laughs> uh, Ice Cube. But anyway, so one thing I want to oh, do is... I never realized that. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yep. California. Mm-hmm. So one thing I want to do is I want to do a segment of player, the Players Club versus real life stripping. So movies are movies. They can be, you know, kind of facade and whatnot. Some things can be real. So what I want to do is I want to pull a few scenes from Players Club and I want you to tell me if it's real or if it's cap and then your personal situation going through that yourself okay all right first thing shit goddamn toro <laughs> tipsy <laughs> what's this shit you got me sipping tequila we only drink tequila and i'm down with my cup i'm a henny man myself all right so first thing on the list players club okay boom diamond's first dance it was very awkward and uncomfortable how was your first ever dance in the club it was horrible as fuck it was so awkward mm. I was like 18. I didn't want to tell my family because I had a daughter like at 17. <laughs> I bought a ticket and everything. I was like, I'm about to fly to Atlanta. I'm going to be a stripper. It was horrible. I got arrested and everything. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. So you fly to Atlanta. I, you get arrested and man, the dance was horrible. Back then, Craigslist was a fucking thing. Yeah. Got on fucking Craigslist. Yeah. They had a fucking ad up for something about they was on a new club. It was the... Oh, body tap. Body tap had just shut down because Candy husband had passed away. I okay. got killed in there. And they reopened it up and it was called Whispers. Mm. And that's when I went. Flew way the fuck out there. They told us we'll be okay. I didn't need my permit because um, it was grand opening. We should have been okay. Mm-hmm. Rated the bitch the first night. Mm. Cops all up in there. And I'm from California. My ID is California. So they told me I was a flight risk. Mm. So I instantly had to go to the fucking holding cell. Ooh, and this is your first night there. <laughs> Ideal meal. Damn. What? And I've never been in jail oh, at this man. time, too. So yeah. it's like, yeah. I didn't eat. They gave me some yellow asshole. I think it was lemonade. I didn't drink it. Yeah, they gave ju- me bologna. I ain't never had bologna. Oh, man. That juice is no good. Um, it was juice. You said drink? You said a yellow drink? I thought drink? it was water. I don't know. I was scared to drink it. Oh, shit. Then a nigga tried to tell me to, like, so they had us in the hallway for court. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they leave you for a second. They hand you cuffs. Mm-hmm. They had us handcuffed to the other bitches. Mm-hmm. The nigga that's the janitor, it's the door right there beside me. He's going to open the door. He's talking about, come right in here. Come right up in here. Come in here real quick. Oh. I'm like, what the fuck, you guys? Damn. <laughs> this is in Atlanta. Oh, it sounds like it. Atlanta. Oh, hey, was trying to get right. Damn. Yeah. So the act, so the actual the actual dance nonetheless was awkward and uncomfortable. You said right. Shit, I feel like I barely got the dance. Oh, so it's like as soon as you start, boom. They didn't like at ten o'clock. They start walking through. Damn. And they said on the speaker, all dancers come to the locker room. Damn. That is fucked and up. And pulled the binder out with everybody permit. So if you had a permit, you was good. Yeah. If you didn't, you had to stand to the other side. That is crazy. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Was. Well. They, I was discouraged at that point. They say first is the worst, but goddamn. All right, next scene. So we all know the infamous fight between Diamond and Ronnie in the locker room. Um, there was also funny scenes with Dollar Bill coming out of the locker in the locker room and whatnot. And it's just, you know, the locker room is, I guess, camaraderie amongst strippers and all types of shit happens in there yeah. and whatnot. So my thing for you is the wildest thing you've seen in the stripper locker room. Like fights? Anything. It could be a fight, whatever. 
<sighs> Shit, I probably heard some wild things rather than seen. Mm, what have you heard? Just one. <laughs> I can't I'm, even. I feel like they gonna know. <laughs> I'm intrigued. <laughs> Just bitches be nasty. Mm. Would they be fucking in the lockers? In the oh, locker? no, 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 no. It'd be like outside shit. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Well, like, Maybe th- fucking the same nigga as somebody else in their family and shit, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, I try to mind my business and stay to myself. I'm like probably the most cordial person in the club. Gotcha. You just about that bag. Yeah, I ain't got time for none of that other shit. Just about that bag. Like, yeah, I don't know. I try not to listen to the bullshit. Okay. But you can hear some shit. I've seen fights, though. That's probably... Yeah. So, probably fight, fight. so fights are normal in, in the... Yeah. <laughs> what the, matter of fact, it's on here. So I'm like, all right, next one. <clears throat> so the scene where Myron stalked and followed Diamond home. Have you ever dealt with a stalker or a creep from dancing? Fuck yes. That fucking shit is irritating. But yes. And mm-hmm. you try to block them. They'll call your like call you 20 million times or on block number or another number. They'll come to the club and be like, why are you not talking to me? Mm-hmm. I've been looking for you. Jeez. Yeah. Well, it sounds like if I had to assume, I would say that's because <laughs> they can't pull nothing outside the club, right? So they go to the club because it's like, oh, it's access to women. She's dancing on me. She's in love with me. Like you said, yes. I feel like they don't be looking that bad. They yeah. could get somebody. Man, it's about character. You know, they got shit to do with looks when it comes to bagging something. It's about character and in your sense, and like most sense, providing. Yeah. At, at least keeping her, providing. You know what I'm saying? So they got nothing to do with being cute and all that. But. They probably can't get them outside of it. You know what I'm saying? And like you said, you be, y'all strippers, y'all sell fantasies in a yeah, sense, right? That's true. So y'all dancing on them, telling them, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all making them feel good, stroking his ego. He like, oh, she likes me. Yeah, <laughs> I've had a dude tell me I like him before. Yeah. But so, it's like. <laughs> what did you say after he well, said I'm not going to say right away. Like, yeah, I'm not going to be like, oh, no, I don't like you. <laughs> so what did you say? I don't like you in that way. Okay. That's 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 a nice that's a nice way to keep it a buck. Yeah, that's a nice way to keep it a buck. All right, next one. Okay, this is a good one. Diamond seeing her professor, Professor Mills, while dancing. Have you ever had an awkward interaction with someone you knew while dancing? My mom and my brother and them came in. But my but I had to be on the other side of the club when he came. Okay. You said you had to? Yeah, we don't want to be see each other. It's okay. awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that. But my mom, she could watch me. I don't give a fuck. Okay, nice. That's not bad. Well, that's not awkward then, so that canceled that <laughs> the out. The brother, though, he was there. That would definitely be... Yeah. yeah, we couldn't... I didn't want him to watch me. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. You've done private events before, right? Yeah, I like private events more than the strip club. Bet. So Ronnie doing a private event for the police group, and... um. It got pretty wild, kinky, and stinky in there. The white dude was getting spanked with the paddle, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot. So private parties, um, do they tend to be wild or freaky since you're kind of excluded from the club? Yeah, it's up to you. It's your rules. Every private party looks different. I've done shower shows with another girl, um, depending on the what they're spending. And, like, that's when we got fully, we was in Vegas, we got fully nude. That was a 1,000 in tips alone. Like, mm. not counting the showing up fee for the two hours because I make sure to, to get hourly, you know, just to show up yeah. for me and her for two hours. So, yeah, I feel like uh, we did the shower show. That's when you get naked. We in the shower together, dancing, bubbles. I feel like that, you know. And so is it when you did that, was it just like a crowd outside of the shower watching y'all? Mm-hmm. Okay, it was nice. a, They were getting married. So it was like no more ah. than like 10 niggas. Oh, okay. Wait, so they, so were, they, they was So it, it was back? like a big ass suite. They had like one of them. I don't know what hotel it was. It was like... One of them nice ass ones because it probably like the Venetia or something because it had the upstairs, downstairs. It mm-hmm. was big as fuck. Okay. And the bathroom alone was big as fuck. It had mm-hmm. the shower, the tub. We did the tub, filled it up with bubbles, told the niggas throw the money on the floor. Mm-hmm. We'll pick it up when we done. Mm-hmm. And just turn the music on. Y'all bring y'all drinks in here. Just... We'll dance and take a shot and take a shower. Kick back and watch. I've done um, another one in Vegas too for a couple. That one, they were about to fuck down there while I was entertaining them. Mm. But I felt like I like that. Like, cause yeah, I turned you, them on. you turned them on. Yeah. What were you doing? I was doing a shower show. Okay, by yourself? That's my specialty, yeah. And it turned them on and they... <laughs> that one was a clear glass shower and uh-huh. I let them two, it was just them two. They only came and watched. Mm. Um, And I, you know, you play around with yourself, yeah. you bubbles, it's, you know, turn around, you twerk, you, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm big on dancing slow and sensational. So like I say, it's easy to get turned on. I feel like when somebody's moving slow compared to twerking and and I don't put on fast music. I bring my own radio, my own playlist. I'm big on old school sex music. So 
Yeah, I, I agree with the slow and sen, you know uh, sensual part. That's my preference as well. Like I fall into a trance, like when a yeah, you know what I'm saying a beautiful dance is just like going slow and steady when the and the hips is rocking and she looking at me. Um, yeah. So compared that's, to a slow song, I feel like that's just the best. I yeah. just think it's the best. I agree. Um, real quick of Vegas. This reminded me of it when you said a nice ass sweet. This is something I've never told nobody. What? But you're very open and I appreciate it. So I feel <laughs> I can be open about something that took place in Vegas as well. At least just this, because some things I can't talk about. But a year and a half ago, me and my cousins and my brothers, we went to Vegas. We went to LA and then we was going to drive to Vegas. We left a day earlier, so we couldn't get the suite that we originally had. We left LA earlier, so we had to find a last minute hotel. Okay. So I found a whole I found a nice ass Which suite. One? I'm gonna tell you. I found a nice ass suite. I mean, nice, like on the 60th floor for the low. I, I guess someone bailed out at the last minute, right? I bagged it, right? Before I told them what it was. We're driving there. On the way there, I tell them what it was. It just got awkwardly silent. Silent. We get there. We're checking in. It's kind of awkward checking in and all that. We stayed at the Trump. What's wrong with that? Because the whole, you know, this was when Trump was like, just got out the office. So he had a lot of bad energy around him and whatnot. I mean, a lot of them, I, I don't, I don't dislike him. I like him too. So I don't mind him, but yeah. it was, it was, I didn't care. And we didn't care neither because the fucking view. Oh my goodness. This was one of the nicest suites I've ever stayed in my life. The fucking showers were gold. Like yeah. everything in the bathroom is gold. <laughs> I've not been there though. It's nice. But I do fuck with him. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> It's nice. I used to be biased about that shit, but it is what it is. He's for the same shit I'm for. Mm -hmm. Money. <laughs> Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't mad about it. And you really are about your money. Can we talk about the tattoo you have? On my butt? Yeah. On my butt? On I got butt. money signs on each cheek. On each cheek? Yes. <laughs> to let it be known that is... It's the money maker. Ah. So one day I was going through a breakup. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I just was like, I want to get a tattoo. Take the pain away. And I was like, fuck it. Get some money signs on my ass cheeks. You got both at the same time? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was funny as fuck because his girlfriend did not know when she was booking me that it was for an ass tattoo. I don't know why she thought it was for a foot. Mm -hmm. So when I got there and pulled my dress right up, mm -hmm. she was like, wait, what? What's going on? I'm mm -hmm. like, it's for my booty. Mm -hmm. He was excited. He was like, oh, yeah, I can still do it for the same price and everything. Yep, I got you. <laughs> she was like, I did not know. And da, da, da. she kept coming in the whole time. Oh, well, okay. We had to have the room, the door open the whole fucking time that he was tattooing my ass. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah, she wasn't feeling that. All right, next scenario from the Players Club. Um, tricks who was the veteran stripper, for those who don't know. Trick's coming out on stage, and it kind of, like, clear in the room. Like, everyone kind of left and whatnot. Um, are there pioneer strippers in the game that cannot let the game go? That I've came across? Yeah. Shit, I feel like it ain't even vets. It's just some bitches that need to let it go in general. <laughs> Why do they need to let it go? Because if you're not going to invest in your look, if you're not going to make sure you look the part, then don't fucking do it. I don't know when the hell stripping became. I know I might be tipsy, so I'm more blunt. But I don't know when the fuck it became okay to just be any fucking size, to be any any look any way, not have your makeup and hair fucking done. Presentation is the biggest thing. Mm. You looking like worse than a bitch he got at home. What the fuck is he going to mm. pay you for? So upkeep is important. I feel like upkeep is the biggest fucking thing. Mm. And they didn't let it go. So upkeep, ladies. And then dancing is the second part. A lot of bitches don't really know how to fucking dance. That would be a big surprise because the main part of dancing... Well, all you gotta do is twerk. Is so everybody think, you know, uh, oh, I could, I could dance. I could, I dance all day in the club with my homegirls. Yeah. It's not the same. Mm, it's a whole nother beast. It's not. And a lot of girls do come, like, you know, and try it out and be like, okay, it's not what the fuck I thought. You could be a pretty girl with a nice body. And it still takes a lot of hustle in you. You got to know how to talk. You got to know how to take a fucking no. Because I'm pretty as fuck, but I hear no still. I don't mean shit. I don't think it's nothing wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I'm just not that nigga's type today. Mm -hmm. I had to learn that, but yeah. Nice. Those are great pointers. There's days when an ugly bitch that look worse than you can make more money than you. And you're like, what the fuck? But I know now. <laughs> that bitch doing shit I don't do. And mm -hmm. that's fine. She can have that. It's her energy. It's her aura. It's no, the way she approaches. No, she more nasty. Ah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> her aura. My energy is great. I'm always on <laughs> <unsaying>. 10. <laughs> so, no. so nasty how? Like. What do you mean how? You know niggas be trying to pull dicks out. Niggas be trying to have you touch the dick. Niggas be trying to touch pussies. Mm -hmm. I'm very um, controlling. Mm. I'm almost a dominant type stripper. Like, I want to put your hands up. I might choke you while I'm dancing on you. You know, I give a full image, but you're not pulling your dick out. That's just not what we're doing. 
Not for no fucking ten, twenty dollar dance. We're not doing that shit. We're not gonna we're not gonna play me. We're not even gonna do that. I don't even wanna dance on your dick. Two hundred dollar dance? Maybe outside the club. <laughs> 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 All right, but um, <laughs> next on the list, uh, baller alert. Didn't that happen? Like it was a baller alert? Like a siren went yeah, off? Yeah, we ain't got that though. Okay, so when someone with the bag does come into the building, does that create like some type of competition? Like how does that go? Yeah. Who decides who goes there? Like how does that work? It do create competition. I just tell myself that I'm a money magnet and I attract money. So I'm not in competition with nobody but my damn self. But you do see girls like... You'll know when the competition starts because everybody start getting the fuck up. Everybody be shaking. Everybody trying to do the most to get seen. Mm. You know. So, are you allowed to go straight to that person, or does he? Does that person have to? Depending pick you on the club you're at. Okay. So the club I'm at currently, if they're at the bar, you cannot go to them. Now, in a different club, if they're in a section, it depends. They have to call you to the section. Like in South Carolina, I know they kind of got to call you to the section. Um, so it just depends. I think every club is different. Nice. If I got a chance, I'm going to go up to the nigga, though. Yeah. Makes sense. You're a money magnet. Do you dance different on a dude when he has that bag compared to not? What do you mean? Every nigga comes in there and got money. I'm saying if it's Everybody someone... Everybody money is good say, money. Say, say the baby comes into the club. Are you going to dance different for him as opposed to a regular customer? I might, shit. I might try to put the fuck on a show. Yeah. Just the truth, but I still feel like I'm in, I'm thankful for the niggas that could come get two dances. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you know, yeah. you never know what nobody's financial state is. To to you should That's just be fact. thankful in general. A dude can pull up in some Skechers and he have a goddamn quarter billion account. You know? Well, I'm just saying, Eric, you got to be thankful for everything, little mm -hmm. money and big money. Fuck it, you didn't have to give it to me, but you did. Yeah. What's the most you've taken home uh, one night in a club? In the club, mm -hmm. my money be wearing a bookings. In the club, oh, LA, LA. like 900. 900. Yeah, and that was a quick shift. What all cities have you performed in? LA, Vegas, of course, Oakland, Sacramento. I like, I've been to Atlanta, but I don't like Atlanta. Why not? I thought that's like you know the what? capital. I might need to try out other clubs. I haven't really tried out many places in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And I just don't like Atlanta people. Yeah, give it a give it the another shot. The fake shit, you know the the oh I could get you in. Everybody know oh, everybody. Yeah, and I've heard it. It's the want to be the Hollywood, I've, you know. Yeah, so I've that's the that. part I don't like. I don't like the okay. the part where all the niggas are trying to manipulate you to make you feel like yeah I could get you in there without me. You can't get there. Yeah. And so that's probably why I take a step back with Atlanta because it'd be a lot of. And then the last time, like a nigga tried to slick sell me and shit to his homeboy and mm. shit. Off, of, I met him off a of bill. Okay, mm. <laughs> I ain't got back on that damn site. Yeah. Uh, yes, yo, I downloaded that shit uh, like a week ago. I was on there for one day and deleted that shit. But I do not want to meet them black people on there. Um, yeah, no, I had a I had a guest on here who got finessed in Atlanta in a terrible way. Off of that shit too? Not really. Oh. She she someone a dude told her it was for like a modeling shoot, and long story short, when she got there and she ended up doing a porno, and then like, did wait wait yeah? How did she end up doing it? She well, agreed to. Cause, cause well, they 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 gave her the bag up front. And then, like, she was like, she, Fuck just, it, she was gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Did, then, so she knew at that point it was a porn. Yeah, once she once she was, you know, consuming penis, then she you knew know, what the knew, fuck she was. Yeah. Once she took the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, catch the last episode if you haven't. It, Lena breaks it down. Um, all right, so cool. So to the next one. I'm gonna have to catch that. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was good, and I'm you know glad she shared it. It was good awareness. Oh, good for her to you know spread awareness to anyone else who may come across the same thing. All right, so. Um, a very touchy scene when Junior violated Ebony at his uh, party and whatnot. Um, so my question is, do dudes typically try to cross the just business line with you? Does that happen often? Yeah. Uh, how do you um, how do you handle so yesterday that? Yesterday I damn near snapped on a guy at the club. <laughs> Why so? Because he kept on being disrespectful, I feel like, and trying to get at me um, for a date. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I just, it's like I already told you no politely. Mm-hmm. And then I told you no again politely. When the fuck are you gonna hear me? Mm. So he heard me when I bossed him, when I cussed him the fuck out. Yeah. And let him know, like, okay, now you disrespecting me. I already fucking told you what it was. Mm -hmm. Calm that shit the fuck down before I go get security. Yeah. And get kicked out this bitch. Like, then what? Because, mm. like I told you, you want me to let them know you're soliciting their dancers? So does that happen on a It happens on a regular, you said? It do. Mm. It'd be more like Mexicans, though. That's fucking it. Guru. 
Good old mommy. They know you trying to play like they don't know Spanish. Nigga, you know fucking. I mean, you know, don't <laughs> English. know English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, you know English. Stop playing <laughs> <with> me. <laughs> so how do you uh, how do you go about protecting yourself, being proactive in situations like that? At the club. Uh, and outside of it. In outside of the club, I always bring someone with me to any fucking events I go to. Nice. I always give. Um, my information to certain family members. I always have my location shared at all fucking times, no matter where the fuck I'm at with certain people. Um, I always give numbers and screenshot conversations. I'm very big on that shit and send that shit to certain people as well that I that I feel like got me. Because mm-hmm. um, I don't have a gun, so that is the truth, you know? Mm-hmm. But I do need to get some pepper spray and a knife. Yeah, at least get the key you know, strength. I could fight, key- though, now. Oh, cool, Callie. That's no, cool. Like, you can I fight, can fight, but fight. I mean, still. <laughs> I know, but like, Come I did MMA and shit. Have you ever had to throw hands on a dude? Yes. Yeah. How did Look, that Cal- t- I'm from California. We fight niggas all the time. How did that turn out? What do you mean? The situation where you had to throw hands I on still, a dude. I'm still standing. I still look cute. Yeah. So I got my hands in. Okay. I seize you. I mean, I'm never supposed to whoop a man's ass, but as long as I could get with him. I mean, if a dude trying to. If he trying to finesse you or do anything physical. But I'm just saying necessarily, technically, I probably can't whoop a man's ass, but I could might get, I could defend myself. And then give him the respect or let him, let it be known like, oh, damn, she can, that'll work. That'll leave us defenseless <laughs> real quick. And hit him in the nose. That'll work. Listen, do what you got to fucking do. I could choke somebody. I gouge all that shit. I don't know about a choke. I'd get out your choke. I don't know about that. Maybe I could choke with my legs. Now that might work. You got some legs on you. The <laughs> I did cheerleading work. MMA for a very ni- nice time. Cheerleading and MMA. Yes. Okay, so you also can the MMA mixed martial arts. Yeah. Uh-huh. So what do you know, like jujitsu or some shit? I did that too. Yeah. And boxing. Okay. I just don't choose to fight no more because I'm too cute. You know who you remind me of right now? Because <laughs> you. You're... It's because you drunk. No. Oh. <laughs> It's because you're saying you know all this MMA and jujitsu, and you're pretty. You're an attractive woman. You remind me of the episode of Boondocks, evil kung fu wolf bitch. <laughs> the bitch that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that knew the kung fu and shit. That was kicking. That was trying to date the uh, grandpa. Yeah, because she like knew all the kung fu. She was pretty shit, but she was deadly. And you telling me you know MMA and jujitsu? I just. But I'm really calm. Well, those when are the, I want to be. Those are the scariest ones. I said I was crazy in the beginning. Yeah, I know. Listen, I took note of that. I definitely took note. That's why. I, that's also why I said you remind me of Evil Kung Fu Wolf Bitch. Oh, uh, they probably fucked with her on the episode and she got crazy. Well, she was already crazy before because of past experience, because of other dudes that turned her crazy. Granddad was the calmest. I went to counseling, so. Okay. I'm calm on that. All right. Therapy? Well, that's is, that's counseling in yeah. a sense. Okay. <laughs> All right, nice. Whichever um, word we want to use. Last but not least, scene from My Players feature. Club. You feel all right? Mm-hmm. Last scene from the Players Club. The very end, Diamond leaving the club for good. My question to you is, when do you know when it's time to walk away from the club? That's a hard question. I don't know yet. Mm. Hasn't hit yet? Hasn't no. you, haven't, you haven't contemplated that, that yet or anything? No, not at all. <laughs> nope. Okay, well. Maybe so, when I get like 35 or close to 40. How old are you, if you don't mind sharing your age? <laughs> <laughs> don't answer that. All right, so my other question. My I other, don't care. I look great for my age. I'm 31. Okay. Yeah, you do look good. I, I don't care. I th- I'm 28. I thought you was at least me. I thought you were between 27 and 29. No, I'm 31. All right, nice. With two kids. Well, how old were you when you got married? Damn. Oh, I got married 2016. Lord so. have mercy. <laughs> 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 Had to look at the tattoo. <laughs> Okay, so that's not too bad. Then. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you got married in 2016. You were married for seven years total. Well, we're so together you, five years, married five together, seven. Okay, so married five. I could have swore at one point you said you've been on the market for four years. It's like almost four. It's what three? Wait, how long I've been on the market then? First off, let me just say this. Math, was not, my, to... <laughs> math was not my best expertise. Okay, and then you're tipsy, so you must make me get the calculator out. You got married in 2016. You were married for how but long? But you got to count the two years before that. Y'all weren't married. Y'all were together. So what? But all that counts. No, I'm talking about <laughs> marriage. 
You were married to 20- If a nigga do time for two weeks in six months, nigga, that shit still counts. I don't care if it's two weeks. He did two weeks. But jail time did, and dating in comparison no, I did to marriage two years is as a, a very girlfriend. different situation. I did two years as a girlfriend. Okay. That don't mean shit. <laughs> Girls will do 20. I know someone who did 20 years as a girlfriend and she still ain't got a ring. That's they asses. I'm not that. All right. So how, how long How long will you give a guy before he gives you a ring? Two years. Two years is the max? Yeah. We were talking for like almost a year or two mm-hmm. before that. So that's like three years. You don't know if you want to be me by three years. All right. Well, we got, hold on. We got carried away. Let me. Let yeah, me let's go on the math. 2016, you got married. You were married for five years? Yes. Okay. So then you got out of it by 2021. 2021. No. 2016 plus five years is 2020. I got out of it like in 2020. 2020. Okay, so four years-ish. All right, so you made 2020. Because it was when I got my tummy tech. Okay, so then it has been around four years. Almost. Three. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Three and a half. But then it was like it was like November and shit when we broke up. So really, that's why. Shout out to the November Sagittarius <laughs> out there. We holding it down. It was um, like November, too. So it was the end of the year. You said tummy tuck. What other, um, what other um, work have you had done? So I was already small, but I had an Audi belly button. I have a hernia. Mm. So I had a really like Audi. Okay. And I didn't like that as a stripper. That made me self-conscious. So mm. I went and got a tummy tuck. Okay. And then my boobs, I just felt like. Did you get them enhanced or lifted? I got them both. Okay. They tell you what the hell you're going to get. They tell you what you're going to get? <laughs> uh, they, I mean, they'll tell you you can get oh. it without the lift, but then the titties just going to drop and gravi- the gravity is mm-hmm. going to pull them right back down. Yeah. So I once um when when I was in Vegas, I hooked up with this one chick out there. She was like not fresh off of getting a boob job, but Ooh, they were hard. They didn't drop. And like they weren't the they weren't the softest. They were kind of like a little firm. What kind of she have? Uh I don't know. There was I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't ask her. I have gummy bears. I didn't ask her. What's gummy bears? They're the soft ones. Okay. They feel natural. Yeah, they look squishy. They're not supposed to um really leak or anything. Okay. Silicone leaks and shit. Jesus Christ. I hope they wouldn't. But I was like scared and like cautious and like nervous to like, cause I'm a titty boy. I love titties. Like, oh, you like titties? Yeah. I was like scared to like grab them. Like, yeah. Like I said, I already said yours you is. You wanna good. try it? Yeah. You could grab it. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'm a stripper. Right? Go ahead. Oh, wow. You feel great? Very natural. I was an A cup at first. Very natural. What are you now? A C. C? I can assure, day by day, on day by day. And first off, y'all saw she gave complete consent. I, I gave consent. And she even said it. I can assure those feel natural as fuck. So they, you, you they, went from an A to a C? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Those are nice. Yeah, it's both, yeah. And, um, Best decision ever. Get it, your body there. Is your ass natural? My booty is natural. Nice. Yeah, that's why it jiggles that much. Okay. Yeah, you got I some- feel like I needed a little bit more, though. Like, it look, why everybody's look so... Let me see. Everybody look all round. Mine look round, but when I dance, it's when I dance. Nah, yours yours looks good. What do you what do you not like about it? It's not round. Like it's not. I don't know. Everybody look bigger when they girls get work to get to your ass. Nah, yours looks good. It look right. Yeah, ripple effect, earthquake. Yeah, it look good. You don't 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 touch the ass, Callie. Don't touch the ass. Okay, don't do it. Don't touch the ass. Because the one nigga told me do it. Don't do it. Don't one do of it. the niggas. At the strip club? No, nah, one of the hoes on the, on the roster. On the roster? Don't touch the ass. <laughs> Please don't touch the ass. He Your said, girl. if you get the booty, I swear it's going to be so much better. He just like fake booties. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Listen, uh, uh, listen, and I, I always say this. Fat asses is cool, but if the pussy ain't good, then what difference do it make? True. You know Might what I mean? Might be getting the pussy done at um, that point. Speaking of sex, like I said, I've done research on you. One of your stories, you said something, something quoted boring as positions. Do you remember that? You had like a I rant. Did. In my story? Yeah, you had like a rant and you said something <laughs> about these dudes giving boring ass positions. And not staying hard and shit. And, and not staying hard and shit. Well, what keeps them not hard, do you think? I don't know, nigga. That ain't my problem. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the drugs. I think it's the perks. Oh, the du- Yeah. I think it's the perks. perks. I don't know yeah. if they're fucking on perks, but. Well, you don't have to be fucking on perks, but if you take perks over a longevity of time, it can burn the shit out. I don't think out. they're taking perks. Well, what do you think it is? Are they older? Are they older gentlemen? Yeah. Okay. Then it's probably diet and just longevity. Mm-hmm. The diet. The older niggas. The young niggas. Well, let's talk about that. What's the difference between an older dude and a younger dude when it comes to sex? A lot. Let's talk Everything. about it. Let's go down the list. An older nigga going to take his time with you? He going to take his fucking time. You said he is? He is. Okay. He's going to take his time. As how? Like just the foreplay? Kissing you, the foreplay. 
Yeah, I just think, yep. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yep. What Four a- play. How he fucking you. How he's eating you. He's going to take his time. But young nigga, it may not be no foreplay. I might jump straight to the shit. He's just going to spit and try to dive in. Y'all motherfuckers going to fuck hard. Well, don't say y'all. Don't say y'all. I don't know. I don't I- like young niggas. So I don't really know. So, I don't have many of them. So what's considered young? 30 and under? That's hard because I don't know. I'm trying to talk to people in my age group, and I don't even like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, women typically typically like older. Okay, so let's continue down the list. <laughs> what else is different? We were talking about sex, right? Mm-hmm. That's the main thing. Oh, take... The foreplay. They don't do foreplay. Uh, the young niggas just bam and whammy. They don't give a fuck if you nut or not. And they done. Oh, man. So what type of foreplay? Well, hold on first. Let's get back to the original quote of boring gas positions. Let me ask you. If you could only have three positions for the rest of your life, what are you picking? Doggy style. Of course. <laughs> um, I like to ride, so top. It's... <laughs> Let's talk about it. It's like on the side, but with your leg up. Oh, the side stroke at that 3 a.m.? Like on the side, but with your leg Yeah, up. your leg up, right? <laughs> that 3 a.m. side stroke, like you're trying to start a dirt bike? Yeah, that's that shit. <laughs> that's that shit right there. I fucks with it. I fucks with the list. I would just... Yeah, I, I like getting rolled. Don't be too. the three that I wouldn't get. I could keep forever. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I like that. That's a good list. That's a great list. Um, All right, so also speaking on the topic of, you know, boring and, and good stuff, let's just... Just uh, get a little bit more information on where your mind is with that. So a segment I have on the show is called This or That. Easy. I'm going to list out two things. You have to choose one or the other, this or that. Okay. All right? And this is all this or that sex related. How the fuck you want to say it? Anyway, <clears throat> when it comes to sex, this or that, rough or romantic? Rough. Yeah. That's basically like the whole fucking or making love take, right? Yeah. yeah. You got to fucking like you hate me, but still make love to me. Mm. Can Can one do both? Yes. Yeah, so do you prefer... The married dude was doing both. Mm, married dude? Okay, say that. We'll get in that. We'll, we'll get into that right after this. All right, next. Being lifted or pinned down? Hmm. Pinned down. Pinned down. All right. You like just being complete control taken up. Over. Gotcha. People, I know I look innocent. Just listen. I don't look like innocent. No, you do. But oh. I'm saying the innocent ones be the biggest freaks. Yeah. Cancers oh. be freaky. People don't be knowing. Now listen, I said I dealt with some crazy cancers, but I they did not freaky? say did not say the sex was whack. The sex was immaculate. I've not known a cancer with bad sex. Definitely freaky. First the first time I got Spider Man uh head was from a cancer. You remember Spider Man who was upside down when he kissed Mary Jane? First time I got that was from a cancer. That's what's up. I'm gonna have to try that. Yeah. She put your legs up? Nah. What the fuck is Spider Man head? So she was upside down on the bed, like she was doing like a handstand off the edge of the bed, like upside down type shit. She was like laying off the bed upside down. Oh, like you did. Um... Upside down head. Oh, okay. I yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done that? Yes. I thought you meant yeah. like some like. Nah, if I if I had like a I thought swing... you meant she had your legs up and was sucking your dick or Oh, something. nah, nah, nah. Nah, I'm not. I'm, that... Put the legs on the shoulder? Nah, that's a little kinky and stinky. You put legs up, do you eat ass? I have not it. ate ass. Yeah. You know? I have played with it. You've played with ass? I have. What? Shit, at that point, you might as well go for the gusto. No, that's my tongue. That's different. <laughs> <Might have. laughs> so did he ask for that, or did you just wander down there? So there's ways to find out which a nigga like. Mm-hmm. Ask them to put on porn when they're drunk. You know, talk about threesomes. Encourage different conversations so the people could be open mm-hmm. with you. I'm a really open person, so mm-hmm. I think naturally people are easily open with me. Yeah. And I don't really judge. Nice. Unless you're just like hella gay, I'm not fucking you. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I just believe in, yeah, stick with what you want. But, yeah, um, but I love gay people. So how did this happen with you playing with I'm bisexual, let me say that. But I just I want to fuck on a man that's fucking on another man. Yeah, that's yeah, that's different. So that's all I'm saying. Yeah. How did you come about playing with his ass? I told him to put on porn. And he and put on some... he put on a porn with a bitch. It was two bitches. It was a threesome. It was a bitch licking the nigga's ass. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, baby, want me to lick your ass? Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, you'll do that? I was mm-hmm. like, no. But. <laughs> Why the fuck would you sell him that drink? I just wanted to know. It was, okay, a, it was okay, a trick. Okay, 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 I just okay. need him to answer the question. Gotcha, gotcha. Without feeling judged. Yeah. It was so funny. I did like 
I did like that was that was the first time, and I'm really I used to really feel some way about that type of shit. Yeah, but you know, it's one in every four women has eight ass. I've done my research. I've done my ass eight, you know. So I mean, I understand. I mean, it's an amazing feeling. I mean, so y'all, y'all get y'all ass eight, but you know, it's an amazing feeling. I don't blame them. You know, I don't know. I I'm would, just not eating it. Well, I wouldn't know. I don't I, know. It I, feels great. I'm I've been you. I've been offered, but I respectfully it feels decline. Great. Yeah, I'll, I'll take your word for it and keep it at that. Um, you depending said, on what they doing. It was hella wet. I don't like that. So you said if it's what? Hella wet. I don't like nothing oh. hella wet. Okay. Unless it's like. <laughs> so what? Is, what? Is it like a credit card swipe? Or are we going in? Which do you prefer? Are you talking about, what are we talking about? Him eating your ass. Oh, you can do both. I don't care. That's up to him. But you just don't like when it's hella wet. When it's hella spit. Well, you know, yeah, hella people. Yeah, control your spit. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're that. saying. Even when you're eating pussy, control your spit. Don't nobody like on no slobbing out. I don't like slobbing shit. Some some might. I like when you suck it up. Okay. Suck it up. Uh, got you. Um, you mentioned you're bisexual. Uh, have you had threesomes? Yeah. What's um okay? So was was the guy? Well, were they with one guy and another girl? It was actually almost a foursome technically. Well, it was two. It was three girls and one guy, but we didn't want one girl to participate. So she, we told her she could suck the dick. Why didn't y'all let her participate? For one, she was in our type. Okay. She just wasn't cute. She was fat and. Okay. White and with glasses mm-hmm. and shit. This gotcha. wasn't cute. But she was like his bitch. You know, I'm from California, so a lot of niggas have pimps. I mean, a lot of niggas have bitches. Mm-hmm. So, because they're pimps. Gotcha. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it was one of his bitches. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. she was, yeah, you could suck his dick or something, but yeah. I don't want to fuck on her. I'm not mm-hmm. doing nothing with her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It makes sense. How did that go, the threesome? You know what? At the end, she was sitting in the front looking mad as fuck. I don't And then so. me and her, me and the other black girl, shit, we were still fucking without the nigga. He felt some way a little bit. Mm. I don't know. I feel like it went great though. Overall. It sounds for so, me. Yeah, I don't know. It I had like a great experience. Sounds like it was cool. Y'all kept <laughs> y'all kept going after. We're still friends. Yeah. You and the other girl. What was y'all? I do- don't know the girl. It, I only know the guy. Oh, you said you and the guy. I just, I just like one day I want to have a threesome and called him. Was like I want to have a threesome. Oh, call some man. bitches up. That's what's up. That's lit. <laughs> you and the other girl. When I, I am very weird. I am. Uh, I'm. I've been to swingers events. Yeah. That's in Charlotte. I've been to fucking Charlotte. No, but I ain't go to no swinger event until I came to Charlotte. And they turned me out. Really? That shit, that's when I had one person eat my ass and one person eat me out at the same time. Oh, man. Now, that shit right there. Did you bust like an AK? I don't even know. I just remember I want the feeling again. Like, mm. you know, it's like a, it's like a feeling that you, you're like, maybe how people feel about crack. I don't know. Probably I never so. done it, so I can't say. But, you know, it's like one of those feelings that you want to search for again. That's a decent comparison. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Swingers event. So two people that I may like, you know, let me know if you're interested. So so did they just how did that like at swingers events, how does how does How does it go down? Yeah. You know, no one talks really, it just goes the fuck down. Really? It goes the fuck down. Like we nice. were all drinking, chilling. Next thing you know, a bitch pulled out my titties, started sucking my titties. Mm. I looked over to the left, a bitch was sucking a nigga dick. And then everybody started distancing to the sweets. Mm. You know? I went to the suite. Mm-hmm. The girl was giving me um, head, and then that's when the guy joined and started eating my ass out. So then, I mean, I remember watching the nigga fucking the girl in the ass, and the dude was watching his wife get fucked. Like, it's a lot of different shit, you know? Yeah. But a, everyone was mature. Yeah, it's open. Swingers events are very I open. I like swingers events because I feel like for my nigga, if, if that's what we need to do, because sometimes I don't want to only fuck on you, too. Mm-hmm. Niggas think that bitches only want to fuck them for the rest of their life. That's a lie, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the same way niggas don't want to fuck bitches one bitch their whole life. Mm-hmm. I don't want that same old ass dick my whole life, neither. Like, so you would you would uh, be open to joining a swinger party to keep things yes, kind of open? I think that's the best truthful. solution. Because if not, if it's going to be polygamy, then you have to have a hell of some type of money. Because mm. you're going to have to take care of two women. Yeah. And I don't believe in I should have to live with no fucking women. I should not have to see that shit. You know what I mean? Everyone should have their own household so and, and be objected to their own shit. Yeah, so you're like, why even have to be inside the same vicinity where you can just go to the swinger party, do your thing, and, and get it out the way? And that's better than being, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to take care of the extra bitch. Yeah, yeah. We can save some money. That's a decent point. That was actually a decent point. I feel like point. that is the best. That's probably going to be my best solution when I get remarried. Again. Okay. Nice. Nice. Well, well, I, I got to get back to the list. I'm going to ask this after the list because we were doing a this or that. Um, speaking of you getting your pussy and your ass ate at the same time, the next this or that, getting or giving head? Both. Pick oh. one. Got to pick one. It depends on the person. I like giving it. You're into him. I like giving it. 
You like getting more than receiving? I like giving. Getting. Giving more than receiving. I like giving. Yeah. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> that is... And they subscribe, y'all know. That is... Ah, there you go. You I heard... Do. You heard... What is the name of your OnlyFans? Let's go to give you a plug. What is the name of your OnlyFans? It's like Cali. <laughs> Callie, do you want to give it out? I mean, I do. I just have to like, listen. I got some freak ass friends that will. It's like, oh, my phone died. It did. It's like Callie underscore paradise or some shit. Okay. It has to be. I don't know. All right. Do you want me to put your only? It's like Callie dash paradise. Well, I'll put your. You have a link tree? It's on my page. Bet. Your link tree will go. Her link tree will go in the bio of this episode and you'll be able to find everything. All right. So, yeah, like I said, that's dangerous. I remember the first girl that I. I'll and, sing you the video. Okay. What video? On your, on your OF? Yeah. Let me see. See what you're working with. Because I listen, I don't come across some eaters. So I, I didn't what, say I was an eater. I just said I like to please my man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't say all that. And I ain't in competition with nobody else but myself. Is your head A1? I feel like it's great. The nigga ain't complaining. They got other niggas wanting it. So yes. I mean, a nigga will not complain over good head, but I'm saying great. I'm saying I got other people asking, so I feel like yes. Okay. If a person watch a video and say, man, why you ain't do that to me? Mm. What does that mean? All right. Does that mean it was good? It said, why you ain't do that to me? It means they're interested in whatever trick you did. What did you do? The the, the pepper grinder? No. Maybe licking balls or something. And just... Okay. Well, that, that should come with the package, I think. A lot of girls don't suck balls, though. Yeah, which is which is boring. You like, know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got to go crazy, but visit the kids at least. Goddamn. Mm -hmm. Don't leave them outside in the to cold. Make love to the body. That's it. Do you fuck with the gooch? What is the gooch? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck it's, is that? It's the area between our nuts and our ass. Like, do what to it? Any? Do you lick the gooch? Anything? He probably licked it on the accident. I probably licked it before I was sucking the balls. I'm you know saying, I'm have you ever purposely? No, but I mean, I'd be drunk. So, like last time we took the honey. So I don't mm. know. I probably the way I was sucking the balls, I could have. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just saying deliberately going to the gooch. Maybe that's something you could add to your repertoire. That's a great feeling know. as well. Top half only though. Don't do the bottom half. I ain't trying to... This nigga's stupid. Yeah, we're not going into <laughs> treacherous waters. Top half only. Niggas like getting their ass ate. I'm not trying to eat ass, though. Yeah, that's... I'll get a bitch to do that part. That's what I I'm like saying. watching. The, the gooch is skin. It's not ass. You can... Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm just... You, the, the bottom half is the ass. Yeah. Yeah, so... Or I'm too saying, close like, to it, at least. I like people that... You know, I like to watch if somebody wants to come join. Okay. I like to watch a girl eat my nigga ass, but I ain't eating it. Okay, nice. She nice. eat mine, too. Kinky. I like it. <laughs> All right, next on the list. We could both have our asses up. <laughs> next next on the list thumb in the butt or toe in the mouth thumb in the butt yeah you don't like your toe in the, in the mouth mm -mm. you don't like your toe in a guy's mouth no okay no, I mean like, like hitting it from the front and got your legs up in the air like, and bring your toe like, to the mouth I'm not big on feet mm. I don't even like your feet touching me oh you wanted them if I massage your feet you better have some socks on oh god you wanted them what's wrong with feet I just don't like feet I have a fucking pet peeve with feet where did this come from? Do you did you have some type of PTSD moment or something? With I just I don't know. I think when I was little, my brother used to make his massages feet and shit all the time. I just don't like feet. Okay. <laughs> so you're freaked out by feet. All right, I got it. It's so I you always find it's I It's think, funny because I think it is triggering me. Like, I don't uh, like feet. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't. I don't I don't mind feet. I don't know. I don't mind feet. I'll put a toe in my mouth from time to time. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no. Depending if I like her mm -hmm. enough and you know what? I don't even want to suck my toes. Really? Mm-mm. I don't desire that at all. Girls, Never. I think some girls like that, they having a toe sucked and whatnot. Mm -mm. No. All right, next. Last but not least. Pissed on or shitted on? No, I'm playing with you. JK, <laughs> JK. I'm, I might have said pissed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carisha. <laughs> have you ever been pissed on? I have Let's not. Let's go there. Have, okay. Definitely not. Nigga, a nigga better be motherfucking rich <laughs> pissing on me. The fuck we look well, like? Well, see, and they say that's what it is. When Carisha came out and said she liked being pissed on, I think it was Lil Duvall who said, oh, yeah, she liked being pissed on, she fucking with a billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, said, nigga pissed on my ass all day. What are mm. you pissing on? Her ass? Like, we don't know what part he's pissing on either. Pro I don't know. Probably See, like, probably like her not, throat and why, chest. That's, that's the most assuming ever that you could think of. I'm pretty sure she said it, but I don't know. I you could I, probably piss on my ass. You know, you could piss on, like, that I no close to my face. Your tongue? Fuck no. That's my mouth. We're going to fight. Your chest and your We're throat? Fighting. Your chest and no, your throat? No, then it's going to bounce off and hit my mouth. Yeah, you'll get speckled. <laughs> you'll get speckled. You'll get speckled. My ass, you know, maybe like open legs, piss on my area or something. I don't know. Okay. Like, 
I don't know what the fuck, but no. Can a guy shit on your chest if he's no, a billionaire? No, we're not shitting shit. I will beat your ass. <laughs> the fuck we gonna do? <laughs> oh, shit. Kinky and stinky. <laughs> fuck no. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. man. Okay, now, the real, the real this or that thing was um, you spit in his mouth or him spit in your mouth? That doesn't matter. Oh, I gotta pick. Me spitting in his. Okay. Do you feel any type? Do you do? What feeling do you get from spitting in a guy's mouth? I don't spit in no one's mouth. I just had to pick one of the questions. Okay, gotcha. But that I do sense. like that song, "Spit on My Face" when you fuck me. Like you can spit on me, but I don't want you to spit in my mouth. So on your face, but I like to be mouth. slapped and shit. I like other shit. Why we gotta spit? Choke, slapped around. Yeah, you know what talk, I mean. Talk, talk filthy too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You I like dirty, that type of shit. You dirty bitch. Yeah, that I love to be called a bitch for some reason. I like doing it. Some girls, like, I I have to know who I'm dealing with. Like, I've done that to a girl and she got turned what? off. I like to be slapped and shit. Okay, yeah. nice. Mm, slap me with the hand or the dick. I don't know which one. But. I prefer pistol whip. I'll, I can I, I can pistol whip for sure. Yeah. I've never slapped a girl with my hand. I pistol whip before. During sure. sex? Yeah, never. never During slapped. During sex? Never. Ooh. Never. You ain't got hot and kinky. Nah. You I got mean, a choker then. Nah, Ooh, yeah. Slap her. I've never it's going to make you fuck her harder. I'm gonna try it. If she, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna I'm just. Fuck it. Just, it's hurting me. Fuck it. <laughs> Ask her first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not just ready to go that's straight in. That's why people in. have conversations. Like, what do you like? And, and um, so what other uh, kinks or fetishes of yours do you have? That's the main ones: choking, slapping. Yeah. Talking N- dirty. Nah, I, I I love to choke, head pull. All that. I just haven't slapped. I've spit in mouth. Slapping is natural. I don't get how you didn't slap. I like it's, wrestling during sex. It's natural from going to a choke wrestling to a slap. Wrestling is fun. Wrestling? Yeah. Before? Like no, actu- during it. Okay. Like actual... Wrestling? Like tussling. trying to flip each other to get into different positions? Mm-hmm. That's okay. Fun. I see. I see. I thought you might like... Okay. Yeah. No, that's not bad. Can't say I've wrestled neither, but, you know, I'm learning things here. I'm pretty sure uh, many of the view- viewers and followers are learning things as well, but okay. Cool. Wrestling. Um, What about recording? Do you like being recorded during? Yeah, that's why I started the OnlyFans. I just haven't got all the way there because I don't want, um, I want a boyfriend. Like, so when that way it's like not just different niggas I'm recording. Why not just get a business partner? Does he have to be a boyfriend? <clears throat> yeah, because it's not, it's different when it's your business partner. Then they have multiple sex partners. Then, you know, you can't really tell a person what to do or question them. Mm-hmm. They could be doing other content with other people without condoms and shit. And I'm mm-hmm. big on um, being safe. Mm-hmm. Okay. I might have been nasty, but we gotta be safe. Yeah, that makes sense. I um, I've been approached by two different women as far as like these are women that like you know we was like you know fuck buddies and whatnot. Uh, oh, let's do an OnlyFans, but they was bluffing, and I knew they was bluffing too. I might have been open to it, but you know I would have had to probably you know be ski masked up and I have tattoos, so I don't know. I don't know how I would have gone Just about be it. Just a cop, put a costume on. Uh-huh. Though I be seeing those type of shit like yeah. these, be having like clown gorilla. Costumes I mean, I would. I like soft porn, so I wouldn't even do. Like real hardcore porn on mm-hmm. OnlyFans, I would do more soft porn. Sensual, just more like, personal. Yeah, you know, like dinner dates that's leading up to the sex. You know what I mean? Like I used to watch soft porn. I didn't really. You still get. I mean, people nut from fucking imagination. So you mm-hmm. you really don't. It really don't matter what you're looking at. Yeah. It depends. I think how it's set up. Do you still consume porn? Yeah, I just. Posted the other. <laughs> you posted Wait, something? do I still consume? Yeah, not make. I'm yeah, saying, I still do you watch. watch porn. What's your um? Say you need a go to. It should have just built up. You threesome, need a threesome, or like big booty. I like asses. Who doesn't? And I guess it's better to watch a nigga fuck a girl with a big ass rather than like some skinny ass bitch. Mm. Okay. I don't know. It's kind of <laughs> boring. I want to get turned on by both people. I like bitches with big booties. Yeah. Not overly big, though. I don't like them big-ass booties that look just too big. I don't like that type of shit. I mean, some are fake in the porn industry. Like, some be looking I'm talking crazy. about in general. I just don't like bit overly big-ass booties. Well, it's all about the shape and circumference. Yeah. It's, it's about the shape more so than the circumference. That's that's a big thing. That is a big thing. Yeah. And the portion. Shit, do it look right? Mm. Do you uh, look good? My favorite uh, go-to for porn search if I need to, just overall my favorite is Ebony Squirt. I love squirters for one. And of course, Ebony is you know, chef's kiss. So do you watch Pornhub? I feel like the Ebony sucks. Pornhub is is washed. I don't watch Pornhub. I that shit like is trash. I Pornhub Ebony shit is horrible. That they have the worst black bitches on there. Most porn sites, could you bring the mic just a tad closer to you? Most porn sites 
are horrible when it comes to ebony selection. Like that's for sure a real thing. Like, absolutely. Um, now nah, I've I've never watched Pornhub. Like I think I went there one website I go to. Um, it's one called. You pay for it? Absolutely fucking not. I would never pay for porn. <laughs> OnlyFans is different. I haven't bought an OnlyFans, but you know I would rather pay for OnlyFans than pay for a porno subscription. Um, Spank Bang, I think is the name of it. Spank Bang is one. I'll look it up. Really, Twitter? Shit, just give me some fucking Twitter and I'm good. Oh, Twitter. Yeah. They do post a lot of stuff on Twitter. God, and it's it's amateur. I like amateur stuff, too. It's more personal, you know? It's oh, Am I amateur because I'm new? No, amateur is just non-brazzers, like oh. non- Just home, home setup. Like, you're amateur technically because it's not an actual setup. Oh, it was a setup. Script porno shot. Oh, it wasn't, but I had a photographer and everything. Well, that's different. Like, you didn't oh. have a script, right? You did what you please, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, so that's- I guess it's because if it's not under a specific like Brazzers, if it's not under Bra if it's not one under one of them where like it's a whole crew and they tell you exactly what to do, then it's amateur. Okay. Like home shot. I like home shit like that. And Twitter is immaculate. I had to fall back. Yo, I had my inbox is full with Twitter vids. Damn. How do you get followers on Twitter? How do you get followers? I just start getting on Twitter. I don't know. I've had my Twitter since high school. Damn, that long? I don't know how to get followers. You got followers? Yeah, I got like a thousand. That's no, it. No, I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't. I just go on there to be kept up to date. Oh, and watch, I need Twitter for OnlyFans and watch porn. <laughs> yes. Oh, then it will. Then it will go off. But you, that's what I'm saying. I just started, but I don't know how to like. I, I need to learn Twitter. I will tell you what you have to do is. So, do you want your OnlyFans content to be yeah. put out there? So that's what, what it's for. So then, what you have to do is, is you have to reach out to the porn pages on Twitter because there's thousands on I thousands like, of. Do them. I reach out? Do I inbox them? Yeah, DM them. Oh, okay, and DM say them. what. Um, just say you're trying to promote your content okay. and they'll, they'll, you know, if they, if they like it, they'll put it out there and they'll put your handle on there. Then they go to your page and that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so before we get out of here, um, how, uh, California, are you going back to Cali? To visit. To visit? Not to live. Okay. I do not want to live there right now. Do you want to be in here for the long haul? Like, where do you see yourself going next? I don't know yet. I never know. Yeah. Gotta travel. Got you. Never know. All right. Well, what's, I might end up in Florida. Florida. Heard the strip clubs out there are decent. I like the weather. The weather, yeah. But the cost of living is just about as California, so. Plus the taxes. And the laws, I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm. What, uh, yeah, that's that's <laughs> a fact, absolutely. Um, So what else uh, do you have upcoming or going on? Or any other, you know, spiel that you would like to get out before we. uh? My birthday. When is it? July 21st. Okay. This will be up before then. What are you doing for your B-Day? I'll probably do a party at Candy's. Candy's? A day party. Okay. And then I don't know what else because I don't know Charlotte yet. So I got to figure out what clubs to go to. Can sure. I get an invitation to the day party? Of course. Yeah. You get an invitation to the regular club too. Okay. I want to like go do a, you know, turn up the whole weekend. I bet. Yeah. Let me know. I'll pull my up. My family will be coming into town. So. Okay. Nice. All my bitches. Nice. Nice. What about um your 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 roster, your team? Or do you have, do you, yeah? Do you have to pick who comes to shit like that? Or? Yeah, who pay for what part? Gonna come for what they part they pay for. Okay, that makes sense. That makes I ain't sense. gotta worry about shit. Nice. Well, and if that money don't nobody help for do shit, then they just don't be around. Just okay. Make new niggas as they go. Every two months. If that's what the fuck. If that's what you said. You said two months. <laughs> but I'm I'm shooting for a part a, a real partner now. Well, let's let's end on that note. Uh, you're looking for something real and in long term. Yeah, I might end up doing a reality show. Who for the love of Cali? Okay, that's something. <laughs> now I'm dead ass. My yeah. me and my mom talk about it all the time. Yeah. So what do you what are you looking for in a in a in a man or a, a husband? hard worker? Because my dad's a hard worker. Mm -hmm. My dad's a, a chief at a fire station. Okay. He's a fireman, and he also does the um, the ambulance driving, so an EMT driver. Nice. So and he works two jobs still. Niggas act like they don't do that. You know, or just find one job equivalent to what it is, mm -hmm. you know, to yeah. provide. But I'm big on a provider. I'm no lazy man. A handy man. Because nowadays niggas can't fix shit at all. Or at least be able to have the money to call a nigga to fix it. That's a good solution. That's Well, that's that's because their OG never taught them. But continue. Yeah, a lot of people don't have daddies. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> our mamas. What else am I looking for? A great communicator. I love attention. So someone to give me a lot of attention. I'm a mm -hmm. cancer. So that's given. I like to be spoiled. You might have lost about half of your clients by saying, no, I'm fucking with you. By fucking attention? Nah, by saying you're a cancer. I'm fucking with that's you. That's why they love me. I got you. 
All right. So um so if a luck if a guy out there who's interested in being all of those plus more for you would like to at least I got sub- like kids. I got kids. Okay. How many? I got two. All right. If they would at least like to submit an application, how can they reach out to Cali Paradise? The best way to get my attention is come in a club and, and, and throw that shit. Throw I don't really want to know you if you ain't like every think about interviews when you apply for a job online. Mm-hmm. You know how many fucking interviews they get that look the same in the damn inbox? Mm. That's how that shit looks on Instagram. So you stand out by everybody looks the fucking same. Everybody's promising the same shit. Everybody's saying, I just want to get to know you. It's the same damn line. The DMs, I know your DMs are crazy. They're not that crazy because I'm mean, but mm. But they still at least a- if a person really want my attention, all they have to do is come to the club, throw that shit, say when we're going to dinner. Mm. It's real fucking simple. It's on you. Got you. Now, if you, from the dinner, that's on you. Mm-hmm. I let a lot of niggas take me out, but then after that, it don't go nowhere because niggas are boring, mm-hmm. or they may try to rush the situation, mm-hmm. or they didn't ask me what I want. Shit. Rush what situation? Trying to sex. trying to get sex? Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, um, listen, Cali Paradise. This was great combo. I would love for us to run it back one day, honestly. And, uh, I know because I talk a lot. Yeah, yeah. This was great combo. Seriously, I really would like for us to run it back. I'm gonna actually get a third microphone. I'm gonna I'm gonna add someone else to the mix as well. If you want to bring one of your homegirls, you okay. know what I'm saying? Bring someone through, and we can get it in even two times. It's hard, you know what I mean? Okay. All right. So that's how we're gonna do it. Um, everyone tuning in, I really appreciate y'all. Whether you're listening or watching, thanks for tuning in. I ask that you hit subscribe and go ahead and share this out. Like all that shit, everything that helps the algorithm. I ask that you go ahead and do that. I'm your host, Day. What I, not a why, do not X, Y. And this was Cali Paradise, who came and provided us with great insight and conversation. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. We gone. Peace. <laughs> and that's how we do shit. That, that was natural. Yeah, right. That's a cute one. Goddamn. <laughs>